नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल माय नेम इज़ प्राणेश आई एम द फाउंडर ऑफ क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज एंड एन आई आई सी बेंगलोर एलेक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू पेपर विच इज़ अवेलेबल ऑन द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यू नंबर एट विच इज़ बेस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल The relevant chapter in physics is second chapter from twelfth physics in CRT. The title of the chapter is electric potential and capacitors. The problem is two uniformly charged concentric thin spherical shells of radii R one and R two have charges plus Q and minus Q respectively. How does the electrostatic potential vary with distance from the center of the shells? R1 is smaller than R2 as we can see, and the sphere R1 shell R1 carries a positive charge, and sphere R2 carries a negative charge. And we have four options with us. To solve this problem, we are going to use the principle of superposition of electric potential, and also a very simple formula, which uh, which you will find in uh, in your NCERT textbook. And that formula is if we have a hollow or thin spherical shell carry carrying a charge q whatever that charge is net charge then the electric potential is constant inside the shell okay let's say the shell radius is r and what is the value of the electric potential it is k where k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not a constant but that is now not of any importance so we are going to write it as k into net charge upon r so this is when r is less than or equal to r and the same value becomes k into q by r it it now varies inversely with r when r is greater than or equal to r. okay so these two formula and the superposition principle is going to give us the answer to this question okay so to begin with to begin with Uh, let us try to find the electric potential varying with r due to the sphere r1 okay so let us call it v1 r so v1 r will be k q by r1 when r is less than or equal to r1 and it will be equal to k q by r when r is greater than or equal to r okay now let us go to v2 r okay now this will be the electric potential due to the sphere of radius r2 or shell of radius r2 so it will be k q by r2 remember now it will be constant for the whole interior of sphere r2 r is less than or equal to r2 and v2 of r will be equal to k q by r when uh, r is greater than or equal to r2 Well, I forgot the negative sign here, so that's negative because R two has a negative charge. Okay. Now, if we take a look at these graphs, you can clearly see that there are three intervals uh, of the radius. Okay. First one is from zero to R one, then from R one to R two, and then from R two to infinity. Okay. So now, because R one is less than R two, net potential V of R. Which will be v one of r plus v two of r by superposition. I think I must write it here for your reference by superposition. Now, because these are piecewise defined functions, right? Which you study, which you study in mathematics and investigate for continuity and <laughs> differentiability. So, uh, when the value of r is in between zero and r one, both values are closer. v of r will be equal to now here observe that because r1 is less than r2 the electric potential is going to be a constant but that constant will be addition of the electric electrostatic potentials due to plus q and minus q so the net value there will be k q into bracket 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 correct because for the second one the charge is negative now this value will still be positive why is that the value is positive because r2 is greater than r so 1 upon r1 has to be greater than uh, 1 upon r2 
okay now let us enter the space where the radius or the distance is in between the values of the radius so here what you what will happen in this case the potential due to negative q will still be a constant because we are still not exceeded or crossed r2 okay so let me uh, incorporate that value here so minus 1 upon r2 but what about electric potential due to r1 now it will start varying right because we have exceeded r1 it will start varying okay it will start falling inversely with the first power of r okay so it will be 1 upon r okay so we can say that well if you plot the graph it will indeed be uh, it will indeed look like a rectangular hyperbola with uh, v varying inversely with r, something like this okay you can, you can try it on desmos or jgebra but we have got the answer now what is the answer okay the answer is the electrostatic potential will be a non zero will be of non zero magnitude okay will be of non zero magnitude between zero and r that basically means option d is ruled out because here the potential is zero okay so option d is gone similarly option c is also gone because in the range r1 to r2 the potential doesn't vary linearly with r it varies inversely with r correct it varies inversely with r so that option is also not right c is also not right and d is also not right. okay now the main thing that we need to decide now is where whether the function potential function is a continuous function of radius or not because in both a and b we have the horizontal line indicating that the potential is a constant for values of r which are less than r okay and we have got it now to establish uh with the, the continuity let us take the help of the two piece wise defined functions and try to substitute the value of r which is r1 so at r equal to r1 okay if we if we are looking at the potential functions value uh, for values which are less than r1 it is as good as taking the left hand limit okay limit as r tends to r1 negative v of r and it will it will still be the same value okay it will be this value kq 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 so you know that okay i'm not writing it again here just take it. i think you'll understand it. okay now what about right hand limit the right hand limit will actually be equal to kq 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 so the right hand limit is also the same at r1 okay at r1 the right hand limit and the left hand limit they both are same and that establishes and of course equal to value of the function at that point so continuity is established and because the continuity is established option b won't be right and hence the right option must be option a okay so question number 8 option a well now what will happen for values of r which are greater than r2 superposition will give you the value of the potential to be zero if you uh, take a look at this because both the things carry the same charge so essentially it will be kq 1 upon r minus 1 upon r right so that will be zero but anyways that is not of any interest to us we have got the correct option 